Hello and welcome back to FemDesign video lessons. In this video, you will learn how to do nonlinear calculation in FemDesign software. We are going to start a calculation from Analysis tab and here Calculate. In here, we are going to select the load combinations and set up by load combinations. Here, you can see that I have two load combinations. I have linear calculation and nonlinear calculation. And for the nonlinear, I have activated the nonlinear box here. Before we are going to perform our calculation, we are going to check what we have done to our structure. So we are going to change the structure tab. And here we can see that our structure or our model this time is only one wall here. And in our wall, we have connections. Uh, line connections here that we have modified that uh, for example this line connection here or wall connection uh, will not take y directions tension forces so let's see how we can change that or how i have done that so we have edge connection here i'm gonna press this wall and this edge and from edge can edge connection data i can see that my from my behavior box, I have detach and Y tension. And when I have selected this, I can see that my springs for Y direction for this edge connection have been set to zero. This means when we go to loads, in the loads, I have uh, set up uh, some loading uh, from the side to this load and this wall is actually very light. And it means uh, that when this doesn't take any uh, tension from here, this, should, uh, this wall should start lifting and turning around. And for this reason, we have to perform the nonlinear calculation to see the uh, correct results. So let's check for load combinations. And here we actually can see that we only have two load combinations for linear calculation and nonlinear calculation. So let's go to analysis page and here calculate load combinations. Let's check that it's activated. We have activated the nonlinear calculation and press OK. Now the calculation will start. And here you can see that the nonlinear or uplift calculation have started for combination number two. And here you can see the iteration number that, that was going on, although the uplift calculation have performed already. And now we have finished our calculation. We are just gonna close this like this. And here we can see the load combinations appearing on the screen. I'm just gonna change the view to the side by pressing Alt F3 and I'm going to activate the connection forces or put this in my view. And we are going to start with the linear calculation. Uh, one thing that I have already done from this display options, I have set connection forces, line and uh, force to Y direction. And I have, this is the only uh, connection forces that I have activated in my screen or in my view. And with the linear calculation, you can quite easily see that even though we have uh, released the spring uh, in Y tension for this connection, we still get uh, those components appearing. Uh, that is because this is uh, performed with the linear calculation method. So I'm going to activate the nonlinear calculation and display. And in here we can see that uh, with the five iteration rounds, uh, the software has bind the part from this uh, uh, wall uh, or this edge connection where there will not be uh, any Y direction tension forces here. And the reactions are only the compression. And you can actually see that I had the same uh, done in here too, so that the Y direction tension was released. And if you want to check this more, we can see this also in translational displacements. And we are going to first display the linear. So here we can see the wall 
acting in a linear way, but by activating the nonlinear calculation, I can see that we we have some nonlinear acting in this wall. But here was all for this video. I hope you learned something new. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.